Mark Comerford and Sarah Mottram on the movement solution from kinetic control. Mark, our movement solution course is the most popular course we've got. Uh, we're, we run it four times in the UK now and once in Holland. And in fact, on our last course in the UK, we had 15 international students on the course. Why do you think it's such a successful course? Um, this course is the most comprehensive course we run and it's the best way to learn how to manage movement control, uh, movement control disorders. It's, uh, it's our premier course, it's our flagship course, and it enables the participants who come on this course to become the best clinicians in assessing and managing movement-related disorders. The course details the theory and evidence of movement control and the processes that go wrong with it. It provides a systematic assessment process for analysing uncontrolled movement and retraining control of movement-related disorders and pain. And it makes the assessment and retraining easy by developing a process of diagnostic subgroups from which to, to, to make developments and, and clinical reasoning processes. Um, so it's, it's, it's the best way to look at movement control. Um, I enjoy the course because it's structured in a slightly different way. We develop it in three five-day blocks and we teach the principles about movement assessment and retraining and relate them to, to different regions of the body. And I think that gives us a, um, a process of movement assessment and retraining. How do you think this fits in with current clinical practice at its best? Mm. Um, this whole process that we run teaches clinicians to make three diagnoses and look, and look at contextual factors. These then make, make the, the ability to become radically different in the way you manage musculoskeletal pain. It gives us a, the first diagnosis that we try to make is a diagnosis of uncontrolled movement. And it particularly identifies the uncontrolled movements that relate to pain and provocative movements. So these are the priorities. It also gives us a second diagnosis of trying to identify the pain generating tissues. If we can understand that, we can have a better understanding of the nature of the pathology and can help the pathology heal more rapidly and more effectively. And the third diagnosis is a diagnosis of the different combinations of pain mechanisms that people present when they have chronic and recurrent musculoskeletal pain. As well as that, it looks at contextual factors that relate to all three of those diagnoses. It looks at extrinsic factors such as the ergonomics, occupational issues, the environment, training issues, lifestyle habits. It also looks at intrinsic factors such as pain behaviour and pain beliefs which have a significant effect on how people cope with their pain. So it puts together a clinical reasoning framework to help the participants on this course integrate the best of exercise therapy with current manual therapy skills and also pain management theories. I think the value of this course for the clinician is it gives them a very good understanding of the factors needed to assess and manage chronic and recurrent musculoskeletal pain. It's a fun course, I think everybody's enjoyed it very much and found it very valuable. And the bonus is you can get 30 master's, master's credits via the APAL route at Keele University. So this is the best movement control course that we've developed and anyone who comes on it will really enjoy it.